This is the opportunity of a lifetime for people that have businesses and brands out there. Email us right now at advertise at hiphopun.com and you will get an opportunity to put your brand right in front of each video that we do. And let me tell you, the prices are crazy affordable. You definitely can afford it. Email us right now, advertise at hiphopun.com. Do not wait. All right, man. Former Cash Money standout BG got some very horrible news about BG today from behind the walls. Now, last week, if you guys can remember, if you follow the channel, right? If you don't, right? We put up a video pretty much showing that Birdman put up a post on his uh, Instagram saying that BG will be home very, very soon. And I guess at the time, the motion was once, you know, in with the court for BG to get a compassionate release well it took it took the judge just three days 72 hours to shoot down to reject the motion once again writing um he's saying that there's no new evidence that would affect the court's prior decision now what is bg even in there for right now remember in 2012 he was sentenced to 14 years in federal prison for a connection with guns found in a traffic stop in ethan eastern new orleans now after his arrest prosecutors tacked on witness tampering charge alleging that bg pressured two passengers to take the blame for the weapons now bg is actually incarcerated out in california at a federal penitentiary called fci her long and um his scheduled release date right he's gonna get out soon i mean a couple years right it's actually april the 7th april the 7th 2024 but on three different occasions he's saying like look I, you know i served my time you know i'm a changed man you know and then he cited even, even one time that you know that the last lawyer that he had trying to handle his capacity release messed something up this time the judge i guess looked into it and said it wasn't any sufficient evidence to change the court's original ruling so that's sad man that, that that's horrible because it, looking at the circumstances you know that he's even in there for okay cool right but okay you got 14 years but i mean come on you know now there has been some citations so i'm not going to get into those i did those on a previous video you could check out the bg playlist if you want to get a whole history of this whole situation where he had little infractions against him in prison and then the second time they denied it, they actually brought all these infractions up saying like look you're talking about you that you change you change you that you this you that but how come all this stuff happened we use behind bars man and that's a lot yo i mean come on like get cold weapons somebody else takes the charge then they get you get you with a witness tampering does that really even from the jump does that deserve all that time so you mean to tell me that these two one and a half two years away from being released anyway and you can't cut him a little bit of slack and say, all right, man, no, they're showing no mercy. They're showing no mercy on BG behind bar. I don't know why, but what, what is an encouraging sign is that Birdman went to bat for him. And he actually had Birdman as well as like five other notable people from New Orleans actually write a letter on his behalf to the judge. So this is clearly, you know, something bigger going on because at this point, I mean, like, even if you was the sentencing judge, it's like, where's the compassion? Hence, the compassionate release. Like, where where is it at this point in time, man? Um, Gary Payton, um, Birdman, Wendy Day, a couple other hip-hop executives came out and said, look, man, let this dude go. And to date, there's been nothing. So we'll definitely continue to keep you updated. I don't know if he has any more. Can he do this anymore? I guess he can if he has to pay his lawyer. Um, but it appears now with this latest denial that he will be sitting in the feds at least until April the 7th, 2024. That's his date. And if I'm not 100% sure with state prison, you can get out early. Feds, I think it's a little bit different. I don't know if you can get out on federal parole like that if you know, you've know never been in it. But I do know in state, you can get out early before your max out date and continue to do that time on parole so i don't know if that's maybe that's the first thing he's eligible to actually be released you know so i don't know man but i feel i feel bad for the guy i feel bad for the guy because he's been out of society for a long long time and i look at the crime 
and I look at the punishment, I'm like, all right, the two really is not adding up to me. You know what I mean? It's just not. And I got to keep it real. And if it was, I would say it. You know what I mean? But it's your boy Oga Man Hip Hop News on Central. Let me know what you guys think about BG being denied a third, a third compassionate release. Hey, man, the website is hiphopun.com. That's the word hip hop. That's the letter un.com for all your latest, not even hip hop news anymore, news, period. Um, yeah, man, great have y'all have a great, great day. The, the uh, podcast is Hip Hop and Sensor Podcast, the Hip Hop and Sensor Podcast. Go check us out on Spotify, iTunes, all that good stuff. Yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful night. Up like the video, hit the um, like button on the way out. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.